Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from our camping and survival series. Uh, we've got another SHTF gear box in. Uh, of course, these are from uh, Bud K, and uh, you know this is a monthly subscription. These are the twenty-dollar boxes. All right, so uh, here we go. We've got a handful of items here. We've got uh, let's see, six total, and. Uh, According to the card that we got this month, uh, this uh, this is the primary box, the first box, and again this is uh, this is twenty dollars, uh, well nineteen ninety nine, but close enough. Uh, now they say the retail value of this stuff is supposed to be uh, basically about forty eight dollars, rounding up a couple of cents. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'll just kind of go down through the card and we'll go through what it says on here. Uh, now the first thing is the uh, multifunction paracord bracelet and uh, this is by Trailblazer. This is a pretty standard kind of uh, paracord bracelet. Uh, I believe this, this is not the thick stuff. Uh, looks more like um, it might have some thread in the middle of it. Uh, meaning the cord itself but uh, I think it's more of just the sheet the sheathing um, yeah, it might have a few strands in there but this is definitely not 550 paracord uh, my guess is this is probably uh, more like the uh, the 200 uh, grade so uh, you have it so it clicks together uh, it has a few little pieces to it it does have the uh, the whistle there, I am not going to blow that because I will blow my eardrums out with those little things. It does have a compass and it kind of seems like it's working. So uh, it's a little, looks a little bit off on the compass, so not sure how great that is. Uh, it does have the little fire uh, steel here and uh, you've got a striker here. And uh, let's see, can we get a spark? Yep, we can get a little bit of a spark, so I guess uh, I guess it can be useful to some extent. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. Um, they say that this goes for uh, five dollars, and uh, yeah, that's probably what I would expect in any kind of store, or, you know, novelty type place. So uh, pretty basic, pretty standard. Um, let's see. We'll go with the next one, which is an aluminum waterproof capsule. I'm guessing that's what this one is. Now they say that this runs for uh, basically ten dollars. Okay, as you can see, it is uh, black. It does have a gnarled body here, so you have this part's gnarled and bottom here. Uh, you have a little ring here that you can take and uh, put like a lanyard or something like that through there. Uh, you know, piece of paracord to hang it off your bag, or uh, maybe a carabiner or just one of those spring clips. This is an SHTF Survival branded uh, product here. And then uh, just take and twist it open. It does have the little O-ring there and uh, pretty pretty standard size kind of thing. Um, be nice if it would have had like one little thing, maybe like a little mirror up there or something like that. Uh, you uh, just kind of give it one little extra bit of something but uh, they do say, it says on the back of this that it's good for uh, storing, um, storing matches, uh, valuables, medicine, etc. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, even some, I bet you could probably actually store one of those space blankets in here. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, definitely, definitely useful to keep things dry, especially for those uh, who do use medications or anything like that. If you have to take off and you have medications, this will keep it dry. Uh, and it's pretty decent size. It's, it's about the size of a small uh, prescription bottle, roughly, on the inside. So, uh, you know, it, it would do you for, for a little while in terms of carrying uh, an amount of medicine. Um, not real, real heavy. Uh, the top of it's a little heavier because that's more solid. And of course, all of this is hollow at the bottom. Uh, let's go with the next one. This is self-adhesive, uh, flexible, well, they call it gear wrap. And this is, again, by Trailblazer. It basically looks like wrap for you would put on your hands or something like that. Real simple stretch wrap. It's not sticky. It's not like, it's not like tape. 
this does it kind of it seems to stick to itself okay uh, this would be good for uh, doing something like wrapping uh, your wrist or your ankle or something like that maybe if you have a sprain I mean you could probably wrap a stock or something like that with it there's obviously not a whole lot here let's see we'll go with the next one the next one is a fixed blade field knife and uh, okay well I'm gonna guess that's what this one is uh, and this says uh, bug out field knife and I don't know if that's like the actual supposed to be the brand but BO for bug out uh, it does have a hardened plastic sheath you have some of these uh, openings here the kind of the long ones there's uh, small circle type openings uh, which are definitely too small for paracord uh, but maybe for something else but then you've got the flat openings there which would be good for maybe like velcro velcro strapping uh, the back here has a uh, that uh, that kind of weird uh, kind of keyhole slash teardrop looking thing here so if you were to hang this on the wall or something like that it of course is a simple clip so it could hang from a pocket or a, uh, a belt uh, definitely a nice way for a belt because it has that little kind of catch underneath there so it doesn't just come out the knife itself already looking at it you've got a uh, rubber grips on either side with the that yellow uh, slightly greenish uh, coloring there you've got uh, kind of this little serrated type section which I, I would guess would probably be good for if you're using it for um, trying to start fires and you already have a fire stick uh, you know a ferro rod or a fire steel uh, whatever uh, let's see, pull it out. Okay, we've got a, uh, a clip point blade here. Yeah, it feels reasonably sharp. Let's uh, see. Oh yeah. Yeah, it took the hair right off right there. So it is, it is nice and sharp. Uh, coming straight out of the box. And I didn't expect it to be because this does seem to be relatively cheap, but there is some weight to the blade. Um, this is probably, you know, I would say, um, the thickness of, uh, about one and a half quarters, uh, almost two quarters thick, um, which would make it what, like, not quite an eighth, uh, of an inch thick. Uh, let's see, the next one is, uh, a tactical molly shiv, and, uh, this is a, it's, or SHTF survival branded uh, and uh, like it says a tactical molly shiv got some things here uh, a few little pieces and it kind of shows uh, or gives you an idea discrete self-defense uh, it says it has a uh, rubber rubber over molded handle yeah it has kind of a it's like a shocked rubber uh, integrated plastic molly webbing adapter now it looks like you're gonna have to when you put it together and put it on the molly gear you maybe slide this in pop this there yeah because it looks like it kind of half locks into these little side pieces and have this part already kind of slid in there then you slide this part kind of underneath and there you go and it locks in so uh, so there, I'm guessing that's probably how it works. And then you go ahead and take your little shiv, which this is, this is, it's a little stubby, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty heavy. It's, uh, I mean, for as little as it is, and it's, it's thick. Uh, this is every bit as thick as that knife is. Uh, obviously, it's just short little thing. And they call it a shiv. I mean, this really is not, uh, it's not sharp, not by a long shot but it does have a little bit of beveling to it. So, I mean, if you're just going to be sticking somebody with it, I don't know how much that's going to do, unless maybe you're doing it around the uh, around the neck area, uh, you know, because uh, in the body, that's not going to do a whole lot. I mean, you could, of course, still damage and make somebody hurt with it. Let's check it out, our last one, which it looks like, it looks like uh, bullets or a tray for bullets. 
and here it's actually an AK-47 bullet ice tray. So you can have, I guess, you fill the tray, the bottom tray up maybe, or partially up with water, seat these down in, and uh, throw it in the freezer, and then, uh, you know, however long, pull it back out, pop it open, and you've got AK-47 ice cube, or round ice cubes. That's a nice little novelty kind of thing. Uh, kind of fun when you're into that. Uh, definitely into uh, guns a lot and everything. Uh, I mean, I like guns, but I'm, I don't know if I'm quite into it that much. Uh, definitely not a shit hits the fan kind of thing, I don't think. Uh, I can't see this being a, uh, a thing you would use in that kind of situation. Um, now this is uh, this one is five bucks, so I mean at least it's cheap. Uh, the the shiv itself, their suggested price is uh, six dollars, and uh, six bucks. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's it's fairly heavy duty and everything. Knife itself here, the fixed blade knife, and so you know not bad. It goes for fifteen dollars. Uh, we've got the uh, the roll of tape here, uh, and uh, they do say that goes for uh, $7. And then, of course, we've got our last two here. Uh, the uh, the paracord bracelet is 5 and then the, uh, the little aluminum thing here, they do want $10 for this. If you guys want to check this out, you guys can go down there in the description below. We will have a link to uh, Bud K where you can, of course, uh, buy the uh, SHTF uh, boxes, the monthly boxes that they have. Uh, of course, also down there in the description below, there is our social media outlets. Uh, you can, of course, check those out and on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and hit those subscribe buttons either in the corners or down there below the video if you haven't done so already. And if you want to get notified of when we've got new videos coming out, go ahead down there and hit that bell icon. Remember, ring that bell so you know when you're going to get uh, new videos here from World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This has been another episode from our camping and survival series here on World of Me. I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.